Act as we <clears throat> we roll into a guy who should he have a job? How does Brandon Staley have a job after blowing a 27-0 lead as well as playing his guys in week 19, injuring, fracturing Mike Williams back? Absolutely idiotic decision. Seth, what are your thoughts here? Should Brandon Staley – they fired the offensive coordinator because they blamed that on all Joe Lombardi, right? It's like, oh, this is all Joe's game. We're not slowing the pace of the game. We'll find a new OC, which is going to be the most coveted OC job in the NFL, I think. But – this is all on Brandon Staley, isn't it, Seth? I think it would be on Brandon Staley. So of course, the Week 18 fuck up. Why? Why are everybody questioning when he ran him out there to begin with? And now he's, you know, obviously he paid the price for that. You lost your, who? Like I said the other day, I think that Mike Williams at, at right star now when you talk about star potential, yeah, it's got to be Mike Williams over Keenan. Keenan's still a guy, but he's losing a step in my opinion. Just my opinion. Mike Williams is your six foot four go get it guy. Um, this Staley should have had his job absolutely taken away because look at the man that's waiting in the wings and Sean Payton, you know, where is he going to go? Where is he going to go? I mean, you have a chance at that with the Chargers because he knows he sees your potential. I mean, you got a good, you got a good defense. You got a star, a star quarter, a number one receiver, a number one running back and a, and a rebuilding offense for lines. So, I mean, very appealing. And, and you know, you're going to have a, a, a playoff draft pick position. So, I don't know. I would. And, I would have probably. And it's a loaded, loaded wide receiver class too. So you can always go get another guy. Yeah, I would have probably. Like I'm saying, I probably would have fired him, went after John Payton, and then if it doesn't work out, then you go another way. But Staley's been under a lot of heat the past two years for his time making decisions, and this is just, you know, this just tops the shit. You know, you don't, you don't play starters in a meaningless game week 18 that long, and then you blow a lead in the playoffs. You know, Herbert's. It wasn't Herbert's first shot. Herbert's first playoffs. So it's like, yeah. It's bad. It looks really bad on Staley. He must have some good uh, locker room relationships. Yeah, yeah some good pull, pull with the owners. To keep that job. And then, you know, so whoever. You just know if you're the OC that goes to the Chargers, uh, you're, you're, be catching a lot of, you're, you're catching a lot of heat. Mm. Catching a lot of heat. Absolutely yeah. insane. Barrett, what are your thoughts on that one? I, I think it's, uh, it's just down to keeping – the same head coach around for Herbert's sake. I believe they don't want to like Staley's good enough. They found a scapegoat. Um, you Poor know, Joe Lombardi. he'll get a, he'll get another job though. Yeah. It, it happens. It in football. It was either, yeah. It was either Joe or Staley. And I think they fired someone else like the OD and someone else, but um, they also fired their uh, I think they, coach. Yeah, so I think they want the consistency there from a head coaching standpoint, which, okay, barely missed the playoffs last year, like made the playoffs, blew a huge lead. Like as an owner, it's just like, like you know, maybe have a sit down with them. You expect them to get better. Like, you know, hopefully next year Mike McDaniel doesn't have the same issues. Now if Staley has the same issues a year from now, like – yeah, then you just have to you just have to cut them and go with the. Um, I, I hate to say this. I think I never believe I'd say this, but like maybe a more conservative type of coach. Like it seems like Miami's had conservative coaches the whole my whole fandom uh, until McDaniel. But maybe that's what Herbert needs. Uh, you know, in a team like that, like they have so much talent, like they should not have. I, I that's a fucking huge lead, guys. That's a huge lead. That should not have happened. So, uh, give him one more year. If he doesn't improve on his just random statistical decisions that he makes, then and if it doesn't lead to anything, then you got you got to cut him. You know. But I believe he's not fired for the whole purpose of they want the consistency with Herbert. They want they don't want to change right now and i know like an offensive coordinator will bring in you know he'll try to institute his own playbook in a way and stuff like that a new quarterbacks coach but i think changing the head coach is more would have been more hurtful for herbert so yeah you just bring in someone that can bring in someone that helps time manage them you know too i mean i i like Kind of back piggyback on Seth's point. If you have a chance to go get Sean Payton 
over Brandon Staley, I would 100% jump on that. Uh, Sean Payton's a wizard on the offense. I believe very good quarterback coach. Helped get Drew Brees back to where he was. Uh, you know, Drew Brees never won an MVP, even though he had four straight seasons, or not four straight seasons, but four seasons MVP caliber, and they gave one to – I remember it was like Aaron Rodgers or something when it was a it was a fluke MVP. But Sean Payton has that potential to change Justin Herbert to being a top seven guy to a top two guy. In my opinion, where Brandon Staley's going to have to find an OC and a and a new quarterback coach to help bring out more of that potential. I don't know. I I would just go all in on the Sean Payton Super Six. That's where I'm at. Brandon Staley, one hundred percent, be fired. If, I, if I'm the owner, immediately upon the Jags kicking the field goal, I'm meeting that dude in the locker room. <laughs> the, I, leave, him on the, leave him on the tarmac, man. Yeah, I'll be like, dude, you week 19, you fractured Mike Williams' back. That, Joey, that Bosa, Joey Bosa got banged up in that game as well. It's like, imagine they lose K-9 right there. Imagine they lose Khalil Mack. Uh, Khalil Mack was uh, literally irrelevant in that whole game. But imagine – they lose guys like that, right? Lose a starting cat ta- or Corey Lindsay, their center. They lose him. That dude's literally the captain. Rest, of the rest is so much more important, man. Like rest is like I understand momentum and and stuff like that. But if that were Miami, I mean, I and you play a, a player like Armstead in, in a meaningless game, or even obviously a Tyree Kill who pl- played every game, like. You just don't do it. You just don't do it, man. Like, I would have not played one damn starter if I had, on, that week. No way in hell, man. Like, fuck fantasy, you know, who cares about anything else. You're sitting Eckler. You're sitting Herbert, man. And, um, you know, you, you, like the, the seeds were unchangeable. You weren't going to catch Baltimore, and you were, you were secured in that sixth spot. So, whatever. I mean, yeah. Mike Williams maybe would have made a difference too. Like that's you know that's oh, what he was. I think Mike Williams yeah. definitely would have been the difference maker in that. Because he he moves the sticks like they just couldn't move the, the dude, sticks. The dude enough. is arguably the best one-on-one ball catcher in the NFL. Yeah, yeah. Like come on, but hindsight now, all we can do is pick it apart like we're doing. But we'll see next year. Mm. And I, I don't think the AFC West. Early prediction. I don't think they're going to be as poverty as they are as they were this year. They could be, but you know, I I just don't think they will personally. So it's going to be tough this time. 